So we're trying to find the pyramids now that are in this area, but we actually don't know if we're gonna find them. Uh, there hasn't been anyone through here in years. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning internet, it is 5 to 8 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in San Juan de Nicaragua. Today is going to be the first day of a three day adventure into the jungle with the Rama Indians. So let me first show you where I am now. So after a 200 kilometer boat journey by river over the Rio San Juan, I am now right here. And all of this is a nature reserve which is called the Indio Mais. And up here is the river, the Indio. So I'm going there with a Rama guide. So yesterday I spent walking around town uh, with Doña Marta, the lady that runs the place here, looking for a guide who can take me there. Uh, and we found one, so that's great. And he is going to pick me up, or maybe it's two people. I'm not exactly sure how this all is going to work out. But the plan is to go up the Rio Indio and we're going to look for a very special place far away in the jungle. There we go. Really? Oh, I didn't even know that they lived here. Yes, yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them? Yeah, a lot of them. Oh, really? Wow, that's amazing. I've never seen one in my life. Yeah, well, you have to park when the boat slow. Yeah. The boat slow and then slow. But they'll come to the surface. Yeah, they come. They come up a little bit. Let me this uh, Let me this bush, grass. There's a lot of. Uh, trees and wood everywhere. See there's a fallen tree. So in 20, what was it? 2016 or 2018? Um, um, 2016 I think. 16. Otto. Yeah. Yeah, Otto. yeah. So 2016 hurricane Otto passed through here. This hurricane did a lot of damage in the jungle here. That's actually also the reason why in some parts like here the trees aren't even that high as you would expect uh, for like a, a fully mature jungle and it's just still recovering and it's gonna take years and years more but because of the hurricane uh, a lot of trees came down and you can see it also here in the creek like all of these trees like big trees that have come down it's all because of that and a lot of animals actually also died uh, because of the hurricane so of course it's a natural event but uh, yeah, there's a lot of damage. And then in the beginning part, when we just left San Juan, there's also been a fire. So first there was a hurricane, then a fire. Um, so yeah, all the trees are uh, still recovering. <laughs> Oops, that was very shallow.
oh wow, we have to pass all the way on this side because it's completely blocked. <laughs> Sorry, the branch in my mouth. Completely still, still can get around it. Not easy. <laughs> yeah. No way. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. This is the kitchen of the house. So it's partly open, which I really like. And then they got some pots and pans over there and there. And they're cooking over wood here. And I think we're gonna have some potato for lunch and some chicken. And then there is where they have the kitchen cabinets. It's a very spacious kitchen. This is how the roof looks like. Yeah. And this is to wash dishes and everything. I think the water just runs straight down here into the garden. I'm lunch. For lunch, okay. You could put your bag here. Ah, yeah. In here, yeah. Oh, wow, so I was sleeping here tonight. Yeah, Wow, that's amazing! <laughs> I love it! So this is where I'll be sleeping tonight. You can see it's all open at the top and then they've made several rooms next to each other. So you have your privacy. I'll have this <gasps> one. <Ooh>. Wow! <laughs> they are very fresh, freshly caught. Wow, amazing. They prepared me two of these freshly caught river shrimp and then this is some chicken and then platano, plantain, potato, rice and tomato. Yeah, bon appetit and then some uh, grape juice. It looks absolutely delicious. Mm. So they do have uh, solar panels here. They only use the electricity from the solar panels for light. They don't have any like electrical appliances or anything like that. So this is a very small bee uh, species. You can see how small they are. And those are for bigger bee species, but uh, they don't do this uh, for commercial purposes. So it's all just for use like for themselves, um, if they need honey for anything or yeah, as a sweetener or for like a sore throat and that uh, type of thing. So you can see that the house is, is right here at the jungle edge really see so that's where the kitchen is and then immediately here is the jungle um, that little house over there is the bathroom just kind of um, hole in the ground type situation but works fine and uh, yeah I asked like do wild animals come really close to the house sometimes uh, because there's different types of big cats uh, living in the jungle um, but they said that when they're cooking the smoke from the fire that is right here at the edge will keep um, those animals away so that's actually quite quite clever oh I can go up here as well we are now getting ready to head deeper deeper into the jungle okay, this morning i took a bath with the river water here and i have to say that i was so surprised to see the actual quality of the water because if you see the river it looks really quite green and brown but it's crystal clear I'll show you see so and this is how the color of the water looks like but then if you take a bucket out see it's just perfectly clean 
um, Santo told me that he is now trying to construct a well over there so they don't have to drink from the river anymore. And the reason for that is that even all of this is Rama territory, so only Rama people should be living here. Still, somehow, there are some people that are actually not Rama, that just take land more upriver, and they are polluting the river. So he says it's actually not so good to drink river water anymore. Um, so yeah, now they have to construct a well. So things are, are changing uh, around here. There was another manatee in the water, but I, I missed it. Shame. Fingers crossed that we see another one that I can uh, catch on camera. So this is where they grow their rice. This is all rice field. And then they have some uh, plantain trees as well. I believe we're gonna look for some plantain now for dinner. Oh, I would, must stand somewhere safe. Oh, but these are not good. Did some animal eat it? Or? Yeah. Oh. Being eaten alive here by mosquitoes. But uh, as I explained in um, Isla de Ometepe, remember that once a banana tree, or plantain tree in this case, has produced its fruit, it'll never produce again. So then it's time to cut the tree down and plant a new one. From here we walk. So I borrowed some uh, gum boots, uh, which uh, is gonna be very necessary. I think it's gonna be a muddy and a wet uh, hike. We have now reached um, Canto Gallo, Cantagallo, uh, which is a small mountain just behind here. So we're gonna hike up the mountain for one or two hours, I think. We're gonna hide the gasoline because uh, this boat is here. There's some other people here that are not Rama. So um, we're gonna hide our stuff and then uh, get up there. Okay, it, it just started raining as well, so I think this is going to be interesting. Anyway, the site that we're going to, um, Cantagallo, means singing rooster. And legend has it that once per year, on the mountain, on this spot, a rooster appeared that started singing, and nobody understood where the rooster would came from, would come from. So that's where the name, uh, the place got its name from. But what we really came to look for is pretty much the lost city of Nicaragua. In the jungle we go. Just going to hide the gasoline for the boat. As we don't know who else is here. It is slow going when your boots get sucked into the mud. You see the, you see this truck? Yeah. That is tapir truck. What? Tapir. Ah, tapir. Oh, tapir. Yeah. Uh, which one then? This. Oh, this hole. Yeah, this. three of them. But they are shy, right? Yeah, they're shy. So much. So Probably cute. don't see them. Yeah. Ah, they cross through here and then they... Oh yeah, you can see a little trail. Oh. Jaguar. You have, right? Yeah, it has here. Yeah. Here. Yeah, they're shy also. They don't like uh, meat from Holland. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> <coughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh, this is thick. Okay. Here. On this other side? Yes. yes. Oh. You could go cross on this log. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you need. No, I no. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, I got it, I got it. Okay. What? You just say if we could go home back or we keep on walking? No, we keep on going. Okay. Of course, this is only a little challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we can do this. Oh, good. Okay? Yeah, all good. All good. Thank you. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck. Yeah, got it. A uh, fresh trail. Tapi no, tapir. Tapir. Tapi the fresh one. How can you tell it's fresh? You see fresh. It looks, yes, fresh. looks fresh. Yeah, maybe this morning. About four o'clock. Ah, passing through here. Now we're starting to climb. Ah, he needs to come with machete. Yeah. yeah. So we're trying to find the pyramids now that are in this area, but we actually don't know if we're gonna find them. Uh, there hasn't been anyone through here in years. Um, the hurricane destroyed most of the path. And then since 2018, when there was a lot of uh, unrest here in Agua Nicaragua, um, ooh, any visitors also left and Basically, yeah, that means that nobody has passed through here in several years. So, we actually don't know if we are still able to reach the pyramids. Yes or no? Completely overgrown. I may be there also, or not? This is the path again, you can see, no? We have made it, we've made it. Look, 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 look. Wow, this is unbelievable. Look at this. Welcome to Cantagaya Construction. This is it, huh? Yeah, this is, it. This is one, but the next one. One of them. Yeah, one of them. 
I think the next one is a little more bigger. Antipod. Even bigger. It's extremely tall. This is like five meters, no more, ten meter. Yeah, about ten meters. Maybe. Ten meters tall. Wow. Oh, wow, we found it. We found it. We are here. This is one of the many, many pyramids, you can call them, that were found here. And the ancestors of the Rama Indians used this place for religious ceremonies and gatherings and later also as a hiding place. So this has been throughout history a hiding place. Uh, so when the Spani Spaniards came, when the Mosquitoes came and um, Actually, quite recently, in 2019, actually, the mosquitoes came again to try and claim land here. Um, this case, obviously, the Rama people did not come here and hide. But uh, throughout history, that happened many times. Yeah, I was actually doubting that we would find it, because now it's so hard to reach. Everything is destroyed, the path, and overgrown. Nobody has come here in years. It's crazy. Continues all the way around on this side. So there are a lot more of these around, bigger ones, smaller ones, but it's not going to be possible to see all of those, I think, because it takes so much time to cover just a little bit of distance here to cut the path, find the path, it's almost impossible, so I think we'll just only stay with this one. Mosquitoes are eating me alive, so we're gonna go back to the to the boat. Uh, so now we. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say I'm gonna put my camera away because now we're gonna mostly have to climb down the mountain again, and I'm gonna need two hands for that. So I'm gonna put my camera away. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.